harmonic conjugate we know that if f of z equal to u plus iv is analytic function then u and v are harmonic functions we have proved it already that is u and v satisfies laplace equation further this u and v are called harmonic conjugates of each other sometimes we may need to find the value of v if u is given or if u v is given we need to find the value of u if that is the case how to handle that let us see the working rule to to do this suppose if we are dealing it in cartesian form u is given it's a function of x and y what can be done now we can find dou u by dou x and dou u by dou y but we are interested in finding the value of v what should be done then yes take the help of cr equations that is dou u by dou x equal to dou v by dou y and dou v by dou x equal to minus dou u by dou y now since you know dou u by dou x i can write what is my dou v by dou y is and i know dou u by dou y by using that i can write dou v by dou x so that completes my second step finding dou v by dou x and dou v by dou y so if that is done we are not interested in dou v by dou x or dou v by dou y we are interested in finding the value of v then what should be done for that we are making use of this note if dou u by dou x is function of x y so then u is found by integrating this with respect to x if you are doing that your integration constant will be a function of the other variable please keep this in mind when you integrate a fu function a function of xy with respect to x integration constant will be a function of y instead of that if you are integrating with respect to y the integration constant should be a function of x to see this let me take an example suppose if do u by do x is cos of xy in that case integrate this with respect to x that is integration cos of xy with respect to x plus an integration constant g of y for us this is a value of u so this is just like or cos of ax by treating a constant y constant it seems to be like cos ax integration of cos ax is given by sin ax divided by a and you can know if you want this do u by do x back you just need to do this differentiate this with respect to x and with this with respect to y g of y is purely function of y its differentiation becomes zero if you come to sin of xy if you differentiate this with respect to x so this gives y cos of xy so y y cancels it is just cos of xy that is whatever do u by do x is so which means that whenever you have got do u by do x is purely it's a function of xy so you can just find u just by integrating that expression with respect to x we are employing the same idea for this now we are integrating this derivative with respect to x and this derivative with respect to y as a result here we are getting integration of integration constant g of y in this case it is function of x now by comparing these two expressions which we have found for v we can find what is g of y and h of x once if we substitute them back in this equation any of these two equations serves as our required harmonic conjugate have a look at this once again find do u by do x do u by do y from the given u now you cr equations and these derivatives to write what is do u by do x and do u by do y integrate this with respect to x and this with respect to y that gives v now compare these two equations to find g of y and h of x once if you know them so both of both these two equations serves as solution for our problem let me look into this through an example show that the following function is harmonic and find its harmonic conjugate this is what the given function is u equal to 3x square y minus y cube let me assume this is the function u from this obviously what and all we can find do u by do x do square u by do x square do u by do y do square u by do y square my working rule was not covering these two terms but i have found these two expressions the reason is i am interested in proving the function is harmonic that is we need to prove do square u by do x square plus do square u by do y square equal to 0 to show the function is harmonic 6y minus 6y 
satisfied the Laplace equation. So the function is harmonic function. The next part is, since I know what is dou u by dou x and dou u by dou y, I can write dou v by dou x and dou v by dou y by using the CR equations. Dou v by dou x is minus of 3x square minus 3y square. Dou, u, dou v by dou y is dou u by dou x, that is 6xy. The next part is integrate the equation number 3 with respect to x, integration constant is y and the integration is, we are treating y as constant, so it is 3y square x, here it is minus 3x cubed by 3 and integration constant is g of y. That results in the answer x minus x cube plus 3xy square plus g of y. In the same lines, by integrating the second expression with respect to y, treating x constant here, we will end up with the answer v equal to 3xy square plus h of x. Now we got two equations to find the value of v. Just compare these two equations, observe them carefully. You can find there is no function of y, pure function of y which is not present in this. As a result, your g of y is 0. But if you just go back to this, we have got 3xy square and we have a pure function of x which is not present in this expression. Which means our h of x should be what? Minus x cube. So now if we know these two, hence our solution is minus x cube plus 3xy square plus 0. Otherwise, 3xy square minus x cube. This is what our harmonic conjugate is. The problem is over with respect to the given problem. Sometimes what happens after finding the value of v, I am interested in finding the value of f of z also. If that is the case, you know what is u, you know v, substitute in f of z. But I want it as a function of z. What should be done then? Replace x by z and y by 0. That gives us the required answer. Here you can note this is 0 because y is 0 here, y present here, y present here, y present here minus z cube into i. This is what our required analytic function. In this problem, this is was this is not required. If the problem expects you to find the harmonic analytic function also, in that case, go for this part. The next one is to working rule for the polar form. It works in exactly the same lines. Here u is given it's a function of r and theta, so find dou u by dou r and dou u by dou theta. Your CR equations are dou u by dou r equal to 1 by r dou v by dou theta, dou v by dou r is minus 1 by r dou v by dou theta. In the same like, like uh, same lines like the Cartesian form, you will find dou v by dou r, dou v by dou theta. Once if it is done, integrate the first equation with respect to r, so integration constant is a function of theta. Second integration expression integrate with respect to theta, that gives a integration constant h of r. Now compare these two equations to find g of theta and h of r and that will help us in finding the value of v. Now let me just move to the problem. Show that the following function is harmonic and find its harmonic conjugate. So just like the previous problem, for the, let me assume this as u, find dou u by dou r, dou square u by dou r square. When you are doing this, you are treating theta constant. The same thing is done with this dou u by dou theta, dou square u by dou theta square. But what is the Laplace equation? r square dou square u by dou r square plus r dou u by dou r plus dou square u by dou theta square. Substitute on it, r square dou square u by dou r square is this plus r times dou u by dou r is this plus minus of 4 r square cos 2 theta plus r sin theta. If you just simplify that, you will end up with 0. That proves this function is harmonic function. Since u and v satisfy CR equations, you can write what is dou v by dou r because you know dou u by dou theta and you can write dou v by dou theta because you know what is dou u by dou r is. Once if it is done, just like the previous cases, integrate this equation with respect to r with integration constant g of theta that will give us this expression and in the same lines integrating 4 with respect to theta with the integration constant h of r we will get this expression so now we got two expression for v just like the previous problem now just compare them r square sine 2 theta r square sine 2 theta 
r cos theta r cos theta but you can note that there is no function of theta here which means g of theta is zero and there is no function pure function of r in this so h of r is zero so on comparison g of theta is zero h of r is zero hence our solution is r square sine to theta plus r cos theta plus zero that's all in the, even in the even in this problem just like the previous case what i told you also if you want you can find its analytic function so for that you should substitute u v and you know the next step replace r by z and by theta by 0 to have the required analytic function f of z so z square plus i z is my answer here z square 1 this one is 0 this is i 0 this is plus z that's what we have written z square plus i z this is the required analytic function once again this is not part of the problem here in the exam if the question is to find the analytic function along with the harmonic conjugate you should find this part also thank you all